Hello there, Madra Hill. Welcome back to some E4 playing one. I don't judge me, but I, you know, immediately crashed the game and went back so as to be able to declare one to Uzbek. We're going to increase our maintenance all the way up. Corruption's doing okay. Uh, Aldra fail indeed, my friend. Aldra fail indeed. Corruption's starting to go down, which is great. And I'm also going to recruit just like a couple boys. Just a couple boys. We need more men, frankly. Let's get to 57. And there we go. Because in one month's time, I'm going to lose all those claims. So I might as well just declare war now. We're going to declare war on Yarkland. They're going to call in Ladakh. We're going to tribal conquest or superiority. And that's a boom. I don't know where their army is per se, but there we go. Is this a mountain? It is mountain, so we're going to have to wait a little bit. That's okay. Then we can just jump on them. Did you know the Mughals were nerfed hard because you have to have 50 Devon capital in, in Europe to remove capital? Yeah, Ottomans still are pretty good for World Conquest. Like, if you're going to World Conquest, you probably want to do with the Ottomans. Generally speaking. I got half my army over there. And this army is more than sufficient to do everything else. Cool. Just going to wipe these guys out. Uh, obviously, it's been annoying. We have to do this in the mountains, but there we go. Great. And we just kill them real quick. Perfect. Nice stack wipe. Good job, guys. Oh, baby. And now we're just going to really quickly siege down Uzbek, obviously. Give them the general. Good shit. Don't quite know where they've gone. Not a fan of that. And there's the Ladakh forces on their way. Let's just unite ourselves together here. And like I said, very easy war. You know, infantry, use, use infantry only like massive hordes of infantry in wars. I mean, to an extent they did. Yeah, that's kind of what a mass infantry tactics is. Where have they gone? That's what I want to know. Always forget to turn my forts off. I swear. I'm such an idiot. Actually, I might just keep that on. Where'd they go? In the game? Uh, yeah, it's just not a very good idea. That's the problem. It's just not a good idea. There we go. We're still making money even with full maintenance, which is amazing. There's Yang Yassar. Great. So we're just going to send some soldiers to deal with that. Oh my god, they actually did it. Incredible. Oh, we found them. Kind of have to chase them down, sadly, which is a bit annoying. So now we're going to send half of the army uh, this way. Under this chap. Where in the bloody hell do you think you're going? Kaiko here. We'll siege down that. Perfect. Horrors are not allowed to make money. This is true. This is a pretty much an established game rule. All experts know of it. Uh, if you play Horde, uh, you die. You don't get money. You conquer things, but you don't get money. That's just how it is. Let's go find that little Horde army and go beat it up. That's what it gets for being a little Horde army. Suck your little Horde army. That's what you get. Yeah, this is the thing. They don't really make money, they just steal money. Good stuff. Vampire from Narcs. What's up, Solid Shakes? How you doing, buddy? And we're just gonna keep going. Unfortunately, I, but I can I can steal all this cash from Ladek, which is quite cool. Can't do much else, but I just want to take a bunch of cash, so that's fine. Save up all these points so as to be able to core later. Whoa, where's your general, buddy? There we go. Didn't want to fight without a general. That would be very unfortunate for all involved. Great stuff. They're fully sieged. They're almost going to be sieged. Oh, hell. 
Look at that. Oh, the almond's been salted, so your blood will make the soil richer. I take from you... I take from you all the richer. That's kind of nonsensical. Alright, put these forts back on so we get some maintenance on there. Beautiful. And then we just take all these. Perfect. Leap. Great. Go southwest. Two bankruptcies to form Golden Horde. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Bankruptcies mean nothing. A tribal succession crisis. Ah, oh, man. Santa Craft, your heir died. 3 5. I've gained a 2 3 1. Oh, that's so bad. An heir to the throne of 334. Uh, he's so shit. 231. Are you kidding me, though? That is hot garbage right there, and you know it. Come on. Right, go kill them. He is strict. Okay, discipline's quite nice, though. He's a crap, he's a crap general, though. And rotten hell. Hey, look at that. We're getting traditions, which I can get a general. Temujin asks. There we go. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll name him Salt Shakes to make up for the fact that he died. I was so grief stricken, I didn't even rename my ruler. Sorry. A 4 3. Okay, there we go. Now that fire is actually pretty useful. It's fine by me. Alright, looking good. From Yarklin, obviously, I'm just going to take a bunch of money and war reps. Try and force a bit of a truce, because I believe they're pretty pissed off with me. Actually, they don't really care. Do do do. Nice. Oh, war score. I love it. Yeah, I can just as long as I get the siege, it doesn't really matter. Hello and goodbye. And there's the siege. God damn it, so I didn't actually need to do that. Oh no! I accidentally retreated! Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Oh well, we didn't need to, we didn't need it and really need it to be honest. Um although I do have claims, um while it would be nice to have that, unfortunately I didn't call them in as people, so it's gonna cost me diplo power to take that. Because I obviously want literally all of Yardland, and that's gonna cost a lot. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give those claims. Oh, yeah. I can, just, I can just do it one by one, to be honest. Oh, I can just take that. Tight. Because I have claims on that. I'll take that. So, sorry. There we go. Do I have claims on this? I do. A lovely mountain province. Cost me 26 point. Uh, cost me 15. But I'm going to take it anyway. Give me the money. Thank you kindly. And you're going to end your rivalry. Actually, to be honest, I don't want to pay 15 dipper points that I don't have to. Ah, oh, come on. Now i got to seat you down. Don't be like that. Do, 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 divert. Great, get those sieges, and then we'll rock north. Tick tock, boys. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Just getting that loot a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. Cool, all the money. And war reps and end your rivalry. Perfect. And you're gonna end your alliance with Delhi. This is just them. Do you know the France is gonna be broken in vassals? Yeah, I know. It's gonna be quite cool. I'm looking forward to it. Cool. Easily done. I'll slow things down a bit for them. And it means I get a little bit of cash. I can also just do this now. Great. Hello, Yarkland. Oh no, Widdoms, did you die? 
Thank you for all the provinces and everything. Um, it is going to push... Nope. Oh, it doesn't push anyone. So we're going to get all of Yarkland. Oh, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Get all that. Get a little bit of prestige for them ourselves as well. Bartering increases. Uh, I will lose the two inflation, please. Now that's nice. And then we will take everything I have a claim on. I don't want to take anything I don't have a claim on, you know? If I have a claim on it, I want it. If I don't have a claim on it, eh. And war reps. No one really gives a shit about them, so that's fine. Unless there are any good trade provinces, eh. Not really. There we go. Doesn't really get us much, but it's pretty decent. A little bit of cash. And we get war reps. That's good. Beautiful. Anything I can loot? Okay, so this is actually 21 dev. That is a 21 dev province. I am going to... It is Siberian, but I'm going to keep it. This, eh. I'm going to raise it. And I'm going to raise... Do I want to raise any of Yarkland? So that's thinking... I don't want to kill anything that's actually going to make me money, you know? This is not going to make me much money. Though it does actually have a temple. So it's actually going to make me some money. Oddly. And it's also my culture group. Okay. Now we're talking. No, I'm not going to raise that. Hell no. So I could raise this. And I would get a lot of stuff. Also, that little bit of horde unity would be quite nice. How much would I get? It'd be four, four, and six. So it'd go down to one. So it'd go down to one, two, four. I'm gonna raise it. There we go. Thank you kindly. Okay. Now we're just gonna lower that overextension very slowly. Perfect. And I'm going to repay this loan, so I don't have to in a bit. And that's going to mean I, I'm, I'm unfortunately going to have to extend this loan. But now I now make 25 ducat arenos. And hopefully I can get rid of this freaking interest. Wouldn't that be nice? But that's really nicely expanded me. That is beautiful. A gift to the state. Oh my god, even more money. I would really just like to get rid of this loan. I just don't want to pay the interest. The interest is crippling. Next up, to me, oh my god, they're at war. Attacker against Bengal in the one Pori conquest of Bengal. Yes. So does that mean... Oh! Duck at Arenos. Oh, just, we say similar things. Can I get some of them to not join? Because Bengal is having to fight a lot of people. Oh, I should have allied them. Hmm. I would very much like to try and fight the Timmies quickly. Nick a bunch of things. Because, I mean, look at all these claims, dude. It's crazy. Do you see how much I need to have? To restore the Ilkinet, I need, like, 30 freaking provinces in that eastern area. It's crazy. I have to really start chewing away at these boys. I mean, it's going to be good anyway to just weaken the Timmies regardless, because they've actually started to spill over into India, and it is a genuine problem. I have 57,000 troops. Let's work on paying off some debts. And we're good. Uh, Japan's truce with me is until 89, so I actually have a couple years. I'm actually pretty chill right now. I'm not a fan of my corruption. I'm definitely not a fan of that. Just keep getting some claims over there. Thank you kindly. But we're really starting to expand. But I'd like to weaken the Timmies. If I can just punish them, that'd be great. The rebels are Mamluks and Austria. And I really wish one of them would just ally me. Oh my god. They just won't. And Austria doesn't give a shit about me either. Distance between borders. Ugh. 
Hey, Orthodox Zealots. Nice. What? Oh, that's amazing. They're converting. Orthodox Zealots are going to convert all the Great Horde for me. Oh, wait, no. I'm not Orthodox. <laughs> I, I'm the wrong religion. I'm an idiot. Um, when is this loan due? It is due in... Oh. 88. Did I just... Rest I must have just done that. That's fine. Now, I mean, I have money, so I might as well now start getting some buildings together. I have the tech, why not? This would give... Okay, yeah, 40. Oh, baby. Taxation, 23. In Canton, perfect. Just getting that little bit is really valuable. Suzo. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. Obviously, I already control the majority of this, but... Let's get that local trade power. And these buildings, they make a difference, you know? Being able to just make that little bit more money. Over time, again and again and again. It's going to make a huge difference. Embrace the patriarch. Oh, God. Not like this. I could get an extra 1,700 manpower. Let's go. I have a lot of manpower, to be honest. It probably wasn't necessary. <laughs> I don't want to convert. I'm staying as I am with my weird religion. Orthodox is easily the best. It's definitely the best religion. 100%. But, you know. Say that Almost finished getting those last cores, which would be amazing. Our trader has died. No. Morale of navies or improve, improve relations. Okay, let's go. Trying to improve these a little bit. Is there any other gold province? There is a gold province to the north. And I'm just about to be able to hit tech 14. Which means I'm going to actually be able to beat them. So we're now going to save up as much money as possible. And then we're going to jump on them. So let's just get some more cash. Just a few more months. I'm waiting until the overextension's all gone. Uh, and that's going to take until 84. So another year. Let's have one more year. Treason against one. Uh, local manpower and unrest. Oh, hell yeah. Give me that professionalism, baby. Ooh. I love it. Siege ability. And we're getting a chance to get our manpower back together as well, which is really good. Fortunately, here are the Timmies. Just recruiting some more dudes. Here's the thing. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Wampor is now in a war. I think we kind of need to jump on this when we can. You know, I think it's time to start thinking long term here. Oh shit, I got 20 more K here. Oh Christ, I didn't even think about that. Let's go. Let's start thinking real long term. Let's go. Ooh, build buildings. Look at that. I got build buildings. Gain 50 admin power and get tax income 10. Are you for real? Is that flat? Let us never sit idle, even in peaceful times. We must use, use our resources of industry, make sure we have our funds available. Oh, wow. Did that just give me a flat 10? Cool. Dude, yeah. Ah, damn it, he died. Gonna have to have another general. No, actually, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, it's not flat, but it makes it better. That's fine. Because it's a little bit. That's going to help a lot. Uh, we're not going to be able to pay that loan or anything, but let's just get a little bit more men. More money together. A couple hundred. Let's start to think with this. Where's their cap? It's down there. There are forts. There is no fort there, but that is some Markland. I want... Sieges everywhere. I want to be in this. Okay. My god, there's a lot of forts down there. If we can get to this, this fort here in Ro, we'll be actually be able to see all forces coming this way as we siege everything down. Let's do that. Here we go. Free thinking leads away from God. Uh Oh, well. 
You forgot to go with Alex. Oh god. Alright, Tenel. We just got Tenel, which is great. Really important tech. Next one's even better as well. Land. Oh, it's so good. But this is going to be so good for us. Step Riders to Step Lancers. Uh, we gain one defensive shock and one defensive morale. So a little bit better on the defense. Beautiful, beautiful. We have a bit of money now. Our maintenance up all the way, and we still make dank stacks. Ridiculous. Please stop killing me with inflation. Thank you. Okay. Let's recruit a couple arty boys. But your job is going to be to go right into Bakara. And your job is going to get these sieges. And we're going to put a couple cav. To go and get as many sieges as possible. Just drop them down while we siege down this. These guys are going to siege things down and these guys are going to move south. How many troops do they have? Okay, they have fucking 90,000 soldiers. But they have no manpower. Yes, it's time. They have no manpower. Okay, actually, should we maybe be rushing their capital? We should be rushing their capital. 100%. And nothing here touches a fort. So by going this way and dropping siege stacks, as long as we don't touch the capital, we're going to be able to run right to there. Let's do it. I'm ready, guys. God, they're still on no manpower. This is the stuff. Here we go. Heal cannot will be free. That's right. I'm ready. I was gonna wait for this to be done, but I think we need to kind of rush this, frankly. Let's do it. Uh, we're just gonna go... Ooh. Now, here's the question. Do we go tribal superiority and hope for win battles? Which is obviously great. 10% of war score from battles will give you taking war score. Very good. Or do we try and go for just owning a particular thing? I feel like it would make sense maybe to just go for a particular price. Yeah, dude. Dry lens, let's go. Let's go for this. Because we can just nab it straight away. Or, actually, no, it should be here. It should be for this province because it's surrounded by flat plains. So anything around it is going to be easier to take. Can you take... I'm going to definitely have coalition solid shakes, but I love coalitions. I'm looking forward to it because I can just bust people out all one by one. It's super easy. I've already beaten like five coalitions. Um, in the next episode, we're going to we're going to declare war. Sorry to honey dick you like this. And we're going to fight the Timmies and hopefully take as much as we can. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.